Greetings humans, Spinning Mantis here with the next episode of The Long Dark Stalker. Thanks for joining me. We are up here in a trailer, sort of near the entrance to Coastal Highway. And what we're going to do is head down to the Quonset now and sort of pool our supplies, check where the check where we're at. It's cold, but not brutally cold. There are wolves around here. So we're gonna start heading down the mountain. We'll head straight to the Quonset. We've already been in this zone. We're just using this as a stopover. will eventually be our deep game base if we do decide to go into the deep game. The concept would be. And then next we're gonna go to Desolation Point. Which we have not done yet in Stalker, so <coughs> it'll probably be a good time to Make some arrowheads and such. We will make the primitive tools, primitive knife, the primitive axe. Oh, okay. That's how it. That's how it is. Is it? Just a whole bunch of wolves. So we're just gonna take the shortcut. There could be wolves over here, but <laughs> little little cabin. Not sure if we've uh, actually seen that one, so we'll take a peek. so hard to remember when you've been playing for so long across so many game modes. Which is why I would enjoy um, sort of a landmark mark off in the journal. So let's see if this is new or not. I'm guessing no, but it might be. <coughs> Apologies, I'm kind of froggy. Yep, and so we have been there. Let's keep heading toward the Quonset. Where we can... We drop some stuff off. It would be good to have some of this around. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> How steep is it? Real steep. Real steep. a little chilly, not too bad. And then we go to uh, <clears throat> Desolation Points. We won't really bring a ton of stuff there. This will be a brand new zone and 
We want to take everything we can out of there. So we need lots of... Lots of room to carry more stuff. I don't recall seeing many days like this. I know it's, I guess it's just sunrise. That is a very cool lighting effect. The sun and the wind together. Definitely trudging along here, but <clears throat> making progress. Enjoying the view. As we slowly make our way down the mountain. Just really enjoying these lighting effects. I think that's one of the big things that sets the long dark apart graphics wise and stylistically it's not all about exact realism as far as the textures and the geometry goes <clears throat> it's the dynamic weather systems and the good lighting that really add a lot Getting closer. <clears throat> I say that we'll get there with probably with 11 hours of daylight still. We're pretty close. Then we'll probably shoot right back out. Sort of manage your inventory at the Quonset. Then head right back down the road. Is that a wolf? Well, I wonder if this is going to have to come to... Yep. Well, he didn't zig and zag too much. He really came straight at me to his detriment. Well, we won't get there with eight, 11 hours of daylight left because we took the time to loot this guy and look at that everything is completely different weather wise so we're back up with the temp again um, got a lot colder though it seems Temp's going up, actually. That was weird. The temp was completely different on the uh, the other screen. It said it was like negative 10 or something. It's weird.
went from the sunniest, brightest morning to the dreariest midday. Those clouds rolled right in. Yeah, I think we're getting low on rifle rounds. Getting closer. A little notification free game this month on Games with Gold on Xbox Live. One of the back compatible Xbox 360 games called Beyond Good and Evil. I remember when it came out, I don't remember anything about it. I think it's kind of an adventure game, maybe like, sort of like a Zelda, like a modern Zelda. With some like platforming and dialogue and combat and racing and stealth. Not sure if it's right for the channel. It's old, so from like 2004. Seems like we're moving a little bit faster than before, now that we've eaten and drank. So we should pick up the wolf hide and the two gut pieces. Uh, maybe it's just because we got the wind at our back. Temp is still fine, that's probably because we have such good clothes. Well, I suppose we will eventually in this series get to taking down a few bears so we can build the bear bed roll. It's going to be tough on Stalker, to be honest. So close, so close. Still gonna be plenty of time to get to Desolation Point. <clears throat> I have to go through Crumbling Highway, which on Stalker is. can be rough. With the wolves, but. Good old concept. Let's 
Let us. Check out what's going on here. I was. Wow, we got stuffs here. Yeesh. A bunch of stuffs. Alright, I am sure all of this is cured now. It would have to be. We spent quite a bit of time in Mystery Lake. Just getting a good position here. All. Look at all that. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Holy frijoles. Which means holy beans. Alright, so there's that stuff. Let's see if we have any of that to drop off. Sure. Right as hips. Mushrooms. <coughs> Old man's beard. Cool. Uh oh. Wonder if that was. if I have disconnected from the internet with my terrible connection. So. We got a whole bunch of stuff to put away here. So we got a cured deer hide. Fresh gut, fresh, fresh. That's a lot of fresh gut. I've probably been carrying that around for a while. Ugh. Not nice. All right, time to get this going. So that is one hundred percent, and drop, drop. So it's seventy one percent cured. These are all different. <coughs> Fancy that. Okay. Much better. Much better. Alright, we have enough to build, like, pretty much anything, honestly. So, let's go ahead and... Do our thing. Now, did I have any food here? That is the question. Water. Must degrade really slow. That's fine, that water. This could be some fire making stuff. Yep. She's empty. <coughs> wow. Alright, we'll take anything from the 60s. Maybe 70s also. Not a ton of stuff, but... to me. Alright, was there anything else? So what's, why are we so heavy right now? I guess I got extra wood stuff. 
I think we can dump here. It's gonna be all clothes. So that looks good. That looks good. 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 Absolutely nothing to to change. This is where I must be carrying around too much. Arrow shafts kind of heavy, but desolation point might be what we want. So, oh right, we've got this. That's what's weighing me down like crazy. Yeesh. Okay. It's actually looking pretty good. And this will be bow and arrow stuff. Yeah, we'll come back here to actually build a survival bow. I am happy with all that. I suppose I could use extra flare though. Hmm. Now let's put the arrow shafts in here. Cool. Mm hmm. All right, so we kept five cloth. We've got a piece of wood. Two pieces of tinder. What else we got? Feeling a little tired. Oh yeah, we can steal some of this stuff. A little bit. Little bits. All we have room for is point two actually. So I'm not sure if any of these are work that way. Cool. Let's go ahead. We got plenty of bandages, but we don't have a whole lot of All seems reasonable, all seems reasonable. The tea we can get rid of. No shade, but... Seems legit. Alright, we're gonna get moving. After dropping off the tea. Good, 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 good. Let's leave the gas station and be on our way. Actually, not a hundred percent sure. We should do that in this episode because of that. Yeah, it's not looking hot. Hmm. So, is there anything we need to work on repair wise? The joint. Got all that stuff drying out. I suppose we could build. We don't have any arrowheads though. No arrowheads. Let's see if 
they wind up over here. We've got fish hooks, plenty. Two of those ropes. Junk. We really don't want to have to make more water, so let's bring more in. Is that over here? No, it's over here. All right. Badass. Badass. We'll put it in gallons. I suppose the last thing we could do is repair that can opener. One. I did want one more flare. Do any fishing line? Nope. Can make some with a gut. I got plenty. I need not a whole lot else. Need three of those. Actually, let me grab that. This is something that we should make when we have time. Torch. Yeah, we don't have any arrowheads. Don't even know how many hours of daylight there are. Look like they're gonna go bad pretty soon. So one of the other strategies is rather than using one to repair it over and over again is build like a brand new one. I don't know if that is more resource efficient or not. Anyway, that is gonna be a good place to end this episode as we are trapped inside with the weather. We're almost at 30 minutes. Um, if you enjoy seeing long, dark content, it makes me super happy when you like and subscribe, and I hope you join me next time. That is going to be all for now. Spinning Mantis out. Namaste.